Who are the 31 players that Heineken Meyer will go with to the World Cup? Now, selecting 31 in the, out of the players that have trained since Super Rugby is uh, with the box is not going to be an easy task. In the end, I've got 18 forwards and 13 backs. Let's take a look at who I think Heineken is going to go with in the end. Let's start off with the props. Yanni Duplessis definitely will be there. He'll obviously be the starting tight head prop. Um, Beastum Tawarira, he will obviously be there as a starting lucid. I think that Trevor Nyakane will be on the bench as a backup for uh, Beastum Tawarira and Franz Malherbe as a backup for Yanni Duplessis. So that gives me four. Then I think in the end, of the, in the makeup of the squad, Heineken will probably go with five props. So it's either going to be Vincent Koch or Marcel van der Merwe or Steven Kitchoff. Kitchoff hasn't played uh, for the box yet, so it comes down to Koch and Marcel van der Merwe. Personally, I would go for Koch. I think Heineken might end up going with Marcel van der Merwe as his fifth prop. Let's move on to the hookers. Four options there for Heineken Meyer. Uh, Bismarck Duplessis, he's obviously going to be Heineken's starter. Then you've got Arjan Strauss, most probably going to be the backup. Skulk Brits had a run against Argentina away, and he did exceptionally well. Uh, Scott Antubeni was released to go to Western Province, so it's looking more than likely that Brits, Bismarck Duplessis, Arjun Strauss will be your three hookers that will go on. Let's go to, to the next graphic. So that's eight players so far. Uh, let's go now to the locks. Eben Elizabeth, he will start as the number four lock without a shadow of a doubt. Victor Madfield, he'll be your starter at five, most probably vice captain as well. Uh, back up to him, most likely Peter Steff Detroit. Don't forget, Peter Steff Detroit uh, is a backup loose forward and a lock as well, because that's what he, that's the position he played uh, in. Uh, in Argentina. Lord Diacher has been exceptional for the Springboks and he should be the fourth lock that will go. Flip van der Merwe and Franco Mostert will most certainly miss out. So we're on 12 now. Lose forwards. I think he'll start with Francois Lowe as the open side flanker when he recovers from injury. Uh, and most, most probably Willem Alberts as the blind side flanker. At the, at the back, uh, Dwayne Vermeulen, who will only be available to play at the World Cup, he'll, uh, he'll start as a number eight. Skalk Berger as the fourth loose forward uh, will be able to cover six, seven, and eight coming off from the bench. And I think in overall he'll go with six loose forwards. So if we go on, Heinrich Perso most certainly is a guy uh, who has been impressive on the ground. And I think that Heineken is more uh, willing now to pick the fetches. So Heinrich Perso will probably go in, leaving me with one more guy. I think that guy will probably be Opa Moje. The reason why I say that, Opa Moje covers lock and flank. So I think Opa Moje could be the sixth loose forward that, go, uh, that goes to the World Cup. So now that's 18 players. Let's move on. So now, scrum offs. Obviously, from my mind, for Dupria, he'll be the starter, without a shadow of a doubt. It looks like Ruan Pina has played the bulk of the games uh, for the box this season, so he'll probably be on the bench. Don't forget Ruan Pina could be an option at 10 as well, if, he's, if needed. He has played 10 before for the, for the spring box. And I think the third scrum off will be between Corbus Reinach and Rudy Page. But Reinach has been the guy that's been played by Heineke. So you would assume that he will be the guy. So Corbus Reinach as the third scrum off. That's 21 players. We move to the flower halves. Andre Pollard looks, looks more, more than likely to be the starter. Patrick Lambie on the bench. Now, the worry will be in a big game if one of Pollard or Lambie gets injured. Is Yanchis good enough to slot in? And does he have the experience? He doesn't obviously have the experience. He's only got a handful of, uh, of caps. And Heineken is not going to pick him, I think, uh, uh, going forward. So Monet Stein will probably be the third flower half. So let's go to the, to the centers now. Damien Dialindi has played the bulk of the bulk games at 12, so he'll be, be the, the starter. And I think uh, Jean de Villiers will probably be the starter uh, at 13 and the captain. And then we look at uh, Jesse Creel. He has been phenomenal. He's been outstanding when he's come on uh, uh, the games that he's played at outside center. So I think those are the three uh, that will end up um, going at center. Jan Serfontein, unfortunately, because of injury, is not, uh, because he's only coming back from injury, probably not, won't get a start. Had he actually been ready to play from the World 
15 game all the way to today, he could have actually been picked ahead of Jesse Creel, who wouldn't have got the chance. Franz Stein, unfortunately, similar situation, hasn't been playing, so probably won't be picked. So Damien Dialendi, Jean de Villiers, and Jesse Creel will be the guy. Lano Mapu will also be unlucky not to make it. So that leaves us now with four positions. Brian Abana, left wing, he's your starter. At this stage, I suspect J.P. Peterson will be the starter at right wing. And I think Loise Involvo will sneak in because of the performance that he had against Argentina. He was outstanding. He's also been outstanding for the Sharks as well. So Habana goes in, Mvovo comes in, Peterson comes in. Cornel Hendricks, unfortunately, he's going to miss out. I think uh, there is a lot of concern about his defense uh, on the wing, so he'll probably miss out. Let's look at the fullback. Zane Kirshner started the last game for the Springboks in Argentina, and he was decent, we must admit. But Vili LaRue will be a starter. And I think Zane Kirshner will miss out. So that's, that's the full 31-man squad. Guys that can double up. Obviously, Patrick Lambie can double up and play fullback. Jesse Creel can double up as a 13 and play uh, fullback as well. Uh, JP Peterson doubles up as a 13-stroke wing. So that's the sort of makeup of the squad. 18 forwards, 13 backline players. Another... Uh, uh, um, important stat that will come up most certainly is that out of the 31 that we've picked here, we've got seven players of color as well, something that will most certainly be discussed. So that that is that is that is what we think is uh, Heineken is going to go with here on uh, TNT. But don't forget at half past five on Friday, the official Springbok squad announcement in Durban is going to be broadcast on Supersport 1. So make sure that you don't miss that. That's all we have for you today on TNT.